The South Dakota State Penitentiary in Sioux Falls continues to face high staff turnover rates. IT team reporter Beth Warden tonight shows us changes made by Governor No in the Department of Corrections in 2021 is affecting the lives of correctional officers today. Two years ago, Governor Nome announced several firings within the Department of Corrections, including the penitentiary in Sioux Falls. She acknowledged the burden on employees. The staff is tired and the staff is being asked for a lot. Today, these correctional officers say little has changed. COs that are tired, exhausted. There's times where I've crashed in my vehicle for a couple hours in between shifts. The struggle to hire and keep correctional officers continues at the penitentiary. Prison staff say scheduling changes are making things worse. Last November, shift lengths changed from 12 hours down to eight hours. But in reality, many are working mandated double shifts of 16 hours with little notice. Now it's as you're walking out the door, oh, don't go anywhere, you're staying. While correctional officers can volunteer for double shifts, there's no guarantee it will prevent them from being mandated to work 16 hours on other days. You're going to have to go pick up your child from the daycare and you're told that no, you're going to be working another shift. And that is a huge, huge issue. You're mandated. It is not only affecting us physically and mentally, but it's also affecting our psyches. We're not on point. Governor Nome made a promise two years ago. They deserve to have more flexibility with their families. But today? You work in the Sioux Falls facility, you will not have family time. We don't see our families for days at a time. Putting a strain on those at home. It's the families of the guards, and they will be the first ones to point that out. And the things that are going on could break up the families. Employees believe one of the ways to keep more staff is to bring back double time pay. And they said, when we take double time away, we won't be mandating you. They took our double time away, and now they mandate, 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 mandate. And we're losing officers and droves. Officers also report being docked for meal breaks they couldn't take, or not being paid past a 16-hour shift even if they worked longer. Those who work at the prison say about 80 correctional officers are on staff. We asked the Department of Corrections how many correctional officers are on staff. The response we received was a journey of words that never provided the specific number. We asked again and received a similar response. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now. Now, we also reached out to a group of co-workers at the penitentiary known as the Correctional Officer Collective. They provided the following statement. We are sick of the lies coming from the administration and peer. They are making rules and changing policies, having no idea what the changes do to the facilities. We've also posted the full response from the DOC on our website at dakotanewsnow.com.